Blacksmith 7 here. Killing yourself. Hey guys, what's up? It's MaxSpeed7 here. Uh, I probably look like crap because I was on the computer for the past three hours playing video games and editing this video, actually. The reason why I'm doing this intro for this video is because there's really no intro. I, I think maybe a video or two, but they still, it's, it's, I just need to explain what this video is. This video is random crap that I had on my computer. I'm scraping it up to put a video out there because I know it's been a while. The reason for that is because I'm trying to make a vlog that, um, Eugene's deck, and I don't want to finish the vlog until the deck is finally finished. And I haven't gotten a chance to go over their house yet. The house is, like, half built. Uh, not half built. It's almost finished, but, um, yeah. So I just want to capture that. And I'm pretty sure the deck's finished by now. Um, anyways, yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoy this. It's just, um, a garden update. I'm actually growing a garden. I don't know if you guys knew that. And, um, uh, what was it called? A foundry. A foundry, yeah, yeah. Uh, and other stuff. Anyways, enjoy this video. I don't want to talk any more longer. So, yeah, guys, all right, enjoy. See you guys later. Peace. So, Eugene and Vadim are, like, <laughs> idiots. Vadim says, brother. Sorry, guys, I don't mean to call you idiots. It's just, you guys... It's, you guys can't read, I'm sorry. Um, I don't blame you because you guys were in a hurry, so, uh, but basically, here, let me just, let me, um, explain why. So, we were at Home Depot buying all this, all these supplies for the metal foundry, and the next thing I know, well, okay, I told them, you know what, to hurry this up, you guys go get the sand, and I'll go get the plaster, right? I get the plaster, it's right here, and then... <laughs> I guess they can't read or something. They got paver base. You know, I just needed regular uh, play sand. So that that's why there's this mess here. I was trying to filter it through this uh, window screen thing. And that was a huge mess. I should have done it on top of, like, a thing. Uh, uh, yeah, so that's drawing up in this. But the, I think the mix was good. It looks good. So I don't know. Alright, so here's the metal foundry. Uh, I just have to um, take this out, put a hole in it. And then this has to dry out. This is supposed to be a thing that goes on top of that. Um, so, yeah. Actually, I was supposed to put a hole in that. Oh, well, it's, it's fine. Um, hopefully that doesn't harden up to the bucket. Otherwise, I'll have to crack it and remake it. Um, I have to clean all this gravel stuff. But uh, we'll find out when it's dry. So I'll come back when you... Probably tomorrow when it's dry. So I'll see you guys later. Peace. So it has been four days, and um, the thing still hasn't dried, but luckily I got the castle thing bucket out. Um, so, yeah, this thing actually hasn't dried out. Um, it's still, like, make indents in it, and it'll get on your finger and stuff. So we don't want that. So I think I know, I know a way to make this process faster. Hold on. All right, so my idea consists of... Huh. Yep, I'm bringing the propane torch back out. Alright. Hopefully this doesn't, like, light on me or something. Alright, so, uh, after a few attempts of trying to use the blowtorch, it wasn't working. I'm guessing the blowtorch was too concentrated in one area and I needed something that was spread out. So, um, I just left it out for a few days, and then nothing dried at all, because I'm guessing my garage didn't have enough light. I still tried putting in some, but it it, it, ma it didn't even matter. So, my friend gave me an idea of putting it in a fire and heating it that way, and that's what I did, and it heated it up, and that's the end of the story. I don't have that footage. <laughs> so, yeah. Sorry, guys. Anyways, next clip. So the whole reason I'm vlogging right now is to show you guys, I'm going to start a garden because the food is unhealthy today and I want to start an organic garden. Hey guys, what's up? Uh, here's another garden update. Um, I just want to show you guys the part of wood chips and like, God, I guess. Um, so... 
Uh, I put this grape plant in wood chips, and there's so many grapes growing this year. It's just it's awesome. I don't know if I showed this in a previous video. This used to be just a stick in the ground. The leaves were dying, and it was just... It was going bad. But now it is growing amazingly. Like, look at all these leaves, like, three weeks later. Uh, there are a few leaves dying, but I think it should be fine. I mean, <laughs> look at all this new growth. Uh, pear tree. We're growing a lot of pears uh, this year. Um, I also put that in wood chips right there. Uh, wood chips are an amazing tool. There was another raspberry plant that died here, and that's okay because this whole bush back here is raspberries. Um, uh, well, yeah, what the heck? Why is there foam in my garden? So th we have some kale here. There's a few bug bites, which uh, it's pretty bad. I guess I just need to water more, get it uh, more healthy. It's probably dying, that's why. Uh, bugs are eating it off. These bu bugs only eat like stuff that's dying because like nature's connected with bugs and they like send out a signal like help I'm dying. And yeah, that's basically why bugs eat uh, plants. Um, yeah, so the, uh, you can see the raspberries already starting to come in. There's some more kale. That one actually looks a lot more healthier. I don't know what this plant is. Um, oh yeah, we got this huge. Look at the size of that, uh, let me compare it to my thumb, look at the size of this stem, like, oh my gosh, it's bigger than my thumb, uh, and it's growing these, like, blackberries, right now they're white, obviously, but I don't know what they are, they're, like, some weird blackberry, I, I need to look it up again, but, um, yeah, so here we got ourselves some... At first I thought it was Swiss chard, but it's, just, it's actually carrots. Like, if it were Swiss chard, you'd be able to tell by the colorful um, stems, but these aren't very colorful. So, I assume they're carrots. Now down this line right here we have cucumber plants. Uh, as you can see, they're mostly doing well. I don't know about this one. I, I did move it, so usually when you move a plant, it like... <clears throat> it's like, oh no, I'm dying, and then it just springs back up like nothing happened. <laughs> Um, oh wait, there's a weed here. Let me pull him up. Ah. Man, see, these wood chips are supposed to create a softer ground, which, um, it is, but it's, it, it takes time. Uh, it takes a few months. Uh, I put these in, like, April. It's June? Yeah, it's June. Uh, anyways, <laughs> back to the thing. These are some more carrots I'm growing, um, so, I moved these from a backup pot that I had because all the stuff originally here, like there was carrots, Swiss chard, uh, cucumbers, and tomatoes, all that stuff died, it didn't grow because I didn't know you were supposed to grow them in like small containers first inside your house or like in a warm area because <laughs> I, I, I don't know, I've never gardened before, but um, yeah, so they all died. Uh, so, yeah, what the heck? Oh, yeah, this is from the pot that I was growing it in. I have to throw this out. We got cucumbers here, which I have to move, like, over there probably somewhere where it's out of... Because I don't want to mix carrots and uh, cucumbers. Um, I have a question. I don't know if any of you guys are gardeners and you guys care, but I have... Oh, man. Oh, this is going to make me... Wet. Oh, look at that slug. You see that? It's so long. Okay, but no. You see this uh, strawberry? Uh, hold on, let me just zoom in on it. Oh, there's one right there. I don't, I can't tell if that's a normal strawberry. <sighs> me and my girlfriend, we saw some yesterday. She told me she ate them when she was a kid, but they're like bad to eat because they're wild or something. I don't know, give me your guys' thoughts if you guys know about those strawberries. Are they, do they grow into those normal looking strawberries or what? Oh, uh, they're pretty spiky and they look weird. Um. And I think that's it. That's it. I think that's all I have to show you. Also, one more thing. All these, uh, all these plants right here, those are tomatoes and those are cucumbers. Those are my mom's plants. She bought them, uh, store-bought. So, you know, they probably have, like, GMOs or some crap in them. Uh, which is kind of sad. Uh, this is a completely organic garden, so that's why, uh, I started my own garden. Uh, Hey guys, what's up? It's Max P7 here. Um, as you can see, I'm probably all sweaty and uh, my hair's messy. That's because I went to uh, the pool with Eugene earlier, so earlier today. So yeah, um, this is just an update for 
the garden and stuff. I'm gonna show you guys what I did and what I'm doing. Actually, let's start over by the fence. Hopefully, no one of our neighbors are outside because it's awkward and crying in front of people. Um, so, here along the fence line, hopefully, you guys would be able to see this. Along each fence post and the middle of the fence, there is plantings of sunflowers. Um, so I, plan I planted these like a day or a day or after June, uh, the last day of June. So like I did July 1st and 2nd, maybe 3rd. And I, that's like a no-no. Like, eh, what the heck. So uh, yeah, uh, hopefully they grow up and we get harvest this year. Um, these are my grapes. They're, I put them in wood chips this year. They are doing amazing. There's so many grapes everywhere. They grew so much. Uh, it's hard to see, I know, guys, but there's so many grapes this year. I don't know if this is how many we had last year, but they, there's a lot. Okay, so this is this is our stick from the last video I made. This is our stick. It's grown out and it's starting to create shoots. Um, this is going to become a tree, I believe. Uh, there's one over there, actually. Along with those uh, pine trees, I don't know what they're called. Those things, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Anyways, um, I also planted some sunflower, some scenic things, sunflowers right here. Um, these actually shut up really fast. I was here last yesterday, and they weren't that big. Anyways, and this, uh, I planted a little square of stuff. Uh, it's hard to see. Okay, there. Yeah, it's, it's actually coming out really nicely, but I feel like it's too packed in there, so I'm digging this little rectangular area to spread them out. Um, so, yeah. Also, over there, each fence post, um, I put purple flowers. I was going to go all the way along the fence, but then my steeds were on a chair over here, on that chair, and they were over here, and I guess the wind knocked them over, and they're all spread out here now, so that sucks. <laughs> Okay, let's go give an update on the actual farm itself, or the garden, whatever. So, as you can see here, we have a lot more growth. My mom's garden is spilling into mine. Apparently she said that her stuff was organic, which, whatever. <laughs> um, we have some beets here I planted. Some really good growing well uh, squash. Yeah, squash right there. These are tomato plants. My mom doesn't believe me. She thinks they're not tomato plants, but uh, I think these are tomato plants. They look exactly like uh, tomato plants, kind of. I don't know. If you guys know what these are, then let me know. Um, I have cucumbers along here, Swiss chard back there. A few things back there, which I'll show you in a bit. That's the kale. It's growing really well. I also am growing a few carrots right here. but. Look at this kale. It's like literally about the size of my hand. It's crazy. Anyways. Yeah. So, what was I going to say? Yeah, yeah, So yesterday I came in here. I'm like, whoa, 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 what the heck is this? As you can see, something has been clipping or eating my plants. So I'm like, mom, were you like doing some terrible pruning out here or something? She's like, no. She's like, oh, I saw some deer. I'm like, yeah, I think they, <laughs> I think they ate out of my garden. She's like, yeah, mine too. There's a few clips over there. She got worse damage than mine. Maybe it's just the size. I don't know. Anyways, so that sucks. I have to find a way. I have a dog, but he whines whenever we leave him outside. So I don't want to do that. Um, so the kale that was there, I transferred it to over here. They're not doing that well. I think they're just in thermal shock or shade shock, whatever. Because they were in shade and now they're in sunlight. Not not at the moment. But, <laughs> yeah. Um, these don't look like they're doing well. <laughs> these are sunflowers, I think. some. Those are some type of plant. That's sunflowers. There's a variation between sunflowers and watermelon back here. I might need to do more gardening or more fertilization with grass and stuff. That's sunflowers... Uh, I transplanted a few from that planting because there was actually like three there. So I transplanted one here and I don't know where that one went. Is this? Shoot. 
Where'd it go? Either something ate it or maybe I'm just going crazy. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, back here, I pruned these bushes. And look how many raspberries we're gonna get this year. Look, there's, we even have blue, blackberries right here, except it's very sour. Let me try it. Ah, very sour. Okay, so yeah. So that's the garden update. This was probably a terrible one because I'm just talking and just moving the camera all over the place. These are also squash plants. They are growing huge. That's because this is really fertile soil under these trees. Mm, these were supposed to be onions. There was like a little row of cu uh, not cu uh, watermelon here. As you can see, they're not growing well. I think it's because of the shade. I think these are full, full, um, full sunlight plants, but whatever. Um, here's supposed to be tomatoes, which <laughs> clearly they're not growing. These are also Swiss chard coming from here. So, and I made another update video before this one <laughs> saying that I thought these were carrots. Clearly, I don't know what carrots look like because, you know, this is my first year, so I was just, I was brain dead. But these are what carrots look like. They're like these little feathery things. Um, but yeah. These are actually, I'm pretty sure they're Swiss chard. I, I don't know because they're not as colorful as Swiss chard, but let's just hope. Hey guys, uh, quick random clip. I'm just at the park. I just like, I don't know. I just got up off the couch. Um, but yeah, this is a quick random clip. So the tree I showed when I said I crashed my drone is right over there, that bear tree. You know, it's, it's spring, so it's still blossoming. But that's the tree I actually crashed into. My dog was running across there. I flew it down there, flew it back here. And then I was standing right there. So when I turned, I saw the tree right there. I'm like, oh, crap. So it crashed before I could, you know, divert it. So.